I got beef with the Plymouth Dodge Voyager, man. I tells you, two days of working with this thing, and it's a piece of junk. Trying to get to those last two spark plugs in the back, impossible. You got to jack that thing up and get up underneath the damn thing just to get to the spark plugs. Let alone the tensioner pulleys in them is a piece of junk. I mean, it has nothing but problems. It squeaks and fan belt falls off and I gotta tell you that one serpentine belt does everything and on top of it all the passenger side window wasn't working so I got into it dug into it and found out it's the brushes that are toast this little doohickey right here yep they're burnt out they're made out of carbon they're made to burn out and they're obviously serviceable but can you buy this thing anywhere no you can't you gotta buy the whole freaking motor pe package hundred bucks where this thing should only cost two bucks so what's wrong with our economy one they make these freaking cars so so complex so darn built together and then they don't offer any parts except for the whole freaking unit and makes you pay over a hundred dollars just for this this little freaking piece of junk so what's wrong with our economy I wonder I think we're doomed to fail this thing I mean it's pathetic there isn't a car made today that that is based on the fact that you can repair it you have to do and you when you need to do repair on a car they make it so you have to take it in so that you have to pay someone else to do the job pay someone else a ton of money just to fix the damn thing I've been reading blogs everywhere people have paid upwards of fifteen hundred dollars just to fix their freaking fan belt issue and Dodge has never ever put in a recall for it so what do you think that is I think it's an attempt to make more money out of the people when they should be making these cars so that people can work on them themselves I mean there isn't a part today or isn't a, a device anywhere today where you can take it into electronic repair shop and have them fix it because it's cheaper just to buy a new one or better cases it's impossible to fix it and you have to buy a new one you can't take your TV in anymore. You can't take your microwave in anymore to have it fixed. There, when was the last time you saw an electronics repair shop? And if you gone in there, all they have is stuff that's made back in the 60s. They don't have anything new. Nothing that they can fix today. So I wonder, is it maybe because everybody's brainiacs are going in and figuring out, oh, if we don't, if we don't make it so that people can't fix it, then we're gonna make more money off of it yep I think that's the case especially when all you need is just this little thing can't even go to you pull it and get these there is an electronic shop anywhere in the entire US where you can buy just the brushes for a freaking window motor and they're obviously serviceable or else why would they put the little pull end off of it hmm so go figure anyways my beef with these freaking car industry it's a piece of shit Deserves to die.